Chapter 9, 9-10, the cosine rule for angles. If we rewrite the cosine rule so that cosine A is the subject, then we will have a formula for finding an unknown angle when the three sides of a triangle are known. Right, so that's what we learned as a cosine rule, and if you rearrange it, you can put it in this form with cosine A equals B squared plus C squared minus A squared all over 2BC. Summary. For any triangle ABC, again, that looks like a right angle triangle, but that's any triangle, Cosine of A, that's that angle there, is equal to B squared plus C squared minus A squared all divided by 2 times B times C. And recognize the pattern. Again, we've got that pattern of the B, C, and they're the two that you add together. Where A is the unknown angle, A is the side opposite A, and B and C are the other two sides. Okay, and note again, we at the apex... The angles are the capital letters, and the lengths of the sides are the smaller letters. The cosine rule can be used to find an unknown angle if the lengths of the three sides are known. Example 22. Find the size of the marked angle Y correct to the nearest degree. So we've got to find the angle of that. We have all we need. We only need to know the lengths of the three sides of the triangle, and we can find any angle. We're going to use it in this form here. You can start with it the other way. That's okay, and just rearrange it. But this is also provided in the formula booklet in this form. So cosine A equals, and we just fill the numbers in, 8 squared plus 7 squared. Remember, that's the included angle, so we take those first. 8 squared plus 7 squared minus 9 squared divided by 2 times 8 times 7. And that is that, and it says to the nearest degree. So that's 73 degrees is the nearest degree. And of course, I like this. This is great that they ask you to, they remind you to double check if it makes sense. From the diagram, an answer of 73 degrees, 73 degrees looks reasonable, right? But it's not more than 90, so it's an acute angle. Example 23, calculate correct to the nearest minute the size of the largest angle in this triangle. So we've got to find the largest angle. Uh, this is a good question because we know that the largest angle is going to be opposite the longest side. So it's going to be there. We're looking for A. We have the other three, we have the three lengths of the sides, so we can find that angle. The largest angle is opposite the longest side, and that's, that's angle A. And that's now what we're, we're looking for, and so it's an included angle between those two sides. So keep that in mind as we put things in the formula. So it's going to be using this formula here, 14 squared plus 12 squared minus 20 squared on the top, and on the bottom is 2 times 14 times 12. And that came out as that. The answer was 100.28656. And in minutes and seconds. Okay, and then they've asked for it in uh, minutes, in the nearest minute. So this decimal part, you multiply that by 60 and you'll get that in a decimal. And then that, that you take the decimal part from that and you multiply it by 60 and you'll get the 11.6 seconds. But it says to the, the nearest minute there. So that's 100 degrees and 17 minutes. And again, they've got this little note from the diagram, an answer of 100 degrees looks reasonable. Okay, well, it's, it looks like a right angle, but it's, it's, it's around 90, right? So it's 100, so it does look reasonable. And this is also great here because if you think about the unit circle, first quadrant, all are positive. Second quadrant, sine is positive. Cosine is negative. Cosine is negative, so the angle will be obtuse. So because that's negative, it's an obtuse angle. And we remember that. So try to think back to the unit circle. Exercise 9-10, the cosine rule for angles. Solve each equation for x, correct to the nearest degree. This is just calculator practice. I do suggest in your graphic display calculator, you use the fraction key. So you can just put the upper, the top line and also the bottom line. It'll save you making mistakes if you do that. So make sure you can locate that in your calculator. To find the size of alpha in each triangle, correct to the nearest degree. Good. We, we can find that because we've got the three sides. We can find that because we've got the three sides. We can find that one. We've got the three sides. Good. Three sides. Good. And great. And keep in mind which ones are going to be obtuse and acute. And just like in the example, when you get an answer, just check if it looks like it would suit that triangle. Okay. Question number three. Now, now that you know... Without reading that, just looking at the diagram, and if that we know this is the cosine rule for angles practice, we know we need to find that angle. Now, what is that angle? That angle is described as the shop, what angle must the shot be made for the player to have a chance of scoring a goal? And the angle is from that point and that point down to here. So we're going to find that angle. And we can do that 
because we know the three sides. Four, let's have a look at the diagram. We've got 69 kilometers here. That's a dirt road, a highway, and intersection is here. Now, it looks like it's gonna be that angle we, we're going to need to find. We've got that length, but we don't have these two. That's interesting. Let's see how we could find out those lengths. Two cars leave an intersection at the same time. Oh, there we go. Car A drives down the dirt road at 60 kilometers an hour, and car B drives down the highway at 100 kilometers an hour. So that's 60 kilometers an hour, uh, that car and this car's going 100 kilometers an hour and after 45 minutes they are 69 kilometers apart so that point is after 45 minutes well that means if that's 60 kilometers per hour 45 minutes is three quarters of an hour so three quarters of that 60 will be that length and three quarters of 100 will be that length and since we then have that one that one and that one we'll be able to find the angle five a triangle has sides of 21 17 and 10 meters find the size of the largest angle correct to the nearest degree. Well, this is similar to the example that we looked at. We just roughly draw it, use a straight edge though, and draw the triangle. You'll see the longest side is 21, so we need to find the angle that's opposite that longest side. Now that would be the included angle between the other two sides, so it's gonna be 17, 10, and 21. And then we can just use the formula. But remember the, what we're looking at. The included angle has a 17 and a 10 on either side of it. You'll need to know that when you use the formula for that pattern, right? And then the opposite side is 21. 